This skate park has been here for over 40 years. Of course, through gentrification, this entire area has changed, but this spot has been a melting pot of different cultures and amazing skateboarding for a long time. Recently, the city has decided to apply synthetic turf to this entire area, which would make it unskatable. And I'll go to a spot later to show you what that means. This project is gonna cost $1.45 billion because they're gonna apply this to five different areas for future protection against climate change and flooding. And it seems like skaters are already taking the initiative of taking out some of the obstacles that were here previously and taking them to other skate parks, which is sad, but there's still that little thing and a little box. So we can still have fun. Now randomly there's been a ton of articles about this. I'll link some down below. One cool thing is the guy Feedback TS, who's a guy on Instagram who does a parody of making fun of people who skateboard. He actually wrote the article for New York Times, which is amazing. A skater wrote that. Now I'm not from New York City, so I can't talk about this place like it's a personal connection, but I definitely relate to the fact of a, of a place that exists where friends can go to experience diversity and different cultures and just experiences that most people wouldn't be able to experience in any other place. And I definitely relate to the city destroying skate parks or DIY skate spots that you enjoy for many years, like the one we have in Columbia, South Carolina. Made a video about it before, and that place is such a necessity to have right now for the people down there, since there's not much that they have at all to skate. Sam, how are you? I'm pretty good. Good, man. Yeah. That's good to hear. Hey, whoa, Sam, how are you? Hey, how are you? Steven, how are you? There we go, finally. You should have tail stalled. I should have, but I got scared in my pants. <laughs> And it's funny because in Columbia, South Carolina, if the city decided to tear down that DIY skate park, there would be nothing that we could possibly do to prevent that from happening. But in New York, they have a petition that already has 30,000 signatures trying to prevent this from happening. Now, I obviously don't care if people out there sign it or not, but it is kind of cool to think since they need 5,000 more signatures, if like one tenth of the people who watch this video signed it, we would literally fill out the rest of the signatures. That being said, New York is probably the most proactive city in terms of skateboarding that I've ever seen other than California. There's new skate parks and renovations happening all the time. What's up, dude? Which kind of makes it a huge bummer that my back is starting to hurt again because yesterday I was pretty much totally fine.
But then at the same time, I guess it is the best city ever to be hurt in as well. There's so much to do. I can find other things in New York City to do that are just as fun as skateboarding, I would say, but I like to have a healthy mix of that physical skateboard activity. So I should probably rest up finally. So this right here is an example of the AstroTurf that I was talking about that would basically just ruin the spot for a skateboarder. I totally forgot about this, but at this spot specifically, there was a way to skate it where you could go up and skate these obstacles that you can no longer do. And it was really cool to see people in the past do manuals and then pop into a slide on this rail down here, but that is no longer. But it has been a few days since the last time I was filming this video and I feel substantially better. And this time I'm gonna take it way easier. I'm gonna go much slower, but I mean, this is a cool spot. So I might tinker. A little bit. That's my favorite word in the world, by the way, tinker. And this is how it folds out the three basketball courts and the gym. Obviously those spaces are taken up and the little space that we had before, which is where we could skate if it was packed, is now that weird floor. And I'm just gonna take that as a sign from the universe to stop skateboarding for today because I already got a session in this morning at a skate park and it was amazing, but that's gonna be in Thursday's video. So if you are part of the notification squad and you're watching this Tuesday, in two days, a new video for your face, it's gonna be camera keeps cutting off, 10 skate park tips for beginners, educational, fun, lots of skating, please don't turn off, but it's gonna be a good time, so stay tuned for that. My favorite quote from Feedback TS, AKA Ted, was that these kids are gonna find a place to skate regardless if the park is there or not. Yes, it will be upsetting. Yes, most skaters prefer the park to be there and stay there, but they'll always find places to skate. And New York City as a whole is pretty supportive. So there's gonna be a new place to skate. Even right by my place, there are two skate parks. In Manhattan, there are 10 skate parks. So I wish there was more skateboarding today for you, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday. If I am healthy again, there'll be a lot more skating. If you haven't seen the last video, I think I had five sessions in that one video alone. So watch the last couple of videos if you wanna see a lot of skating and tune in every Tuesday and Thursday. Subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it!